And we have a theist caller. Um, we're going to talk to Billy in Texas, and you would like to argue against atheism. How? Uh, what's your argument, Billy? Um, uh, hello, by the way. Um, yeah, Hi. this has been. Uh, I don't even know where to. I don't even know where to start. This has been coarser. Just listening to these horrible arguments. Um, uh, I mean, just because space is is uh, hostile to life doesn't mean there's not a God. Okay, just because religion is stupid doesn't mean there's not a God. Uh, whatever uh, argument you have against religion, that's fine because I hate religion too. But but you have not argued against the existence of a God at all. And and whenever and a true ID proponent stands in front of you. Uh, you have no argument against it. Uh, there's there's lists and lists of high level scientists that that can demonstrate that uh, that uh, nature is not capable of sequencing a functional genome. That that random mutation is not uh, a, a viable mechanism for uh, for evolution. Sure, evolution might occur, but random mutation is not going to do it. Okay, the the uh, I mean the list goes on and on. Uh, I mean. So I'd, I'd just yeah. just quickly yeah. before um, I pass over to Genevieve, um, just to comment on the arguments we've been having so far on the show. You know, because we haven't made arguments against whatever you're proposing, doesn't mean we don't have them. When we've got an atheist call in and okay. they're like, "Oh, this stuff's driving me crazy," we can have a little rant about space, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't have a comment on whatever argument you're about to make. So that, that's just my little defense there. However, I think you wanted to talk about evolution. Uh, Genevieve, did you want to take this one? Because I've done a lot of talking. Yeah, sure. Uh, please. Yeah, I, I do want to um, just sort of echo exactly what Katie just said, is that there's a very big difference between shooting the shit um, with other atheists. Um, you can't just say that we have terrible arguments when when we have not really made any yet. Um, yeah. And if you do have... An argument I would I would love I would love to hear it. Um, I I I struggle to debate evolution with people who deny it because there is so much deny, evidence. I don't deny evolution. Okay, I okay. I deny, so you, the, you... I, I deny the mechanism. I deny the mechanism that's proposed uh, to to explain evolution, which is random mutation. Uh, that's so that's when not a, when uh, you say. <clears throat> So, so when when you say that though, we're not saying that all evolution is is random mutations. Uh, oftentimes, these mutations aren't random whatsoever. That that they have to do with the environment around you. That's why evolution works the way it is. It, it explains the biodiversity. So how, does, so how does the so how does the environment uh, decide um, control uh, mutations in the genome? So the environment what, control mutations what, happen in the genome. I'm, so, I'm not talking about like recombination or anything like that. I'm talking about like actual mutation. Yeah. So I I don't know if you know this, but random mutations happen literally all the time. All we are saying with evolution yeah, is that yeah. what 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 mutations are beneficial is going to be very dependent on the environment, the timeline, uh, everything that has to do with when this mutation is introduced to a population. If it's beneficial, then sex happens and more mutations are passed on just like that one it it has everything to do with with that and not just you know it's not just this mutation happened and then magically wow look look at this it, it has everything to do with with how it can be passed down um and and sort of what okay, happens after that said, everything you just said was completely pointless and, and worthless <laughs> what, what you said before, i'm sorry come on, hey, billy come on come on Make your argument. So far, all you've said is that there are loads of scientists who don't agree with evolution, but we know that most of them do. So that was a that was a bad argument. You, what what's, what what is it you want us to respond to? You said that some mutations are caused by the environment. I would like to know yeah, how. Right. Uh, the well, uh, um, so a mutation. I mean, a mutation can be caused by like a gamma ray or something like that, or it could be changed caused by um like hormone levels in the development in the womb um, could cause um, like weird genetic expressions, which then trigger on further um, like genetic, what, what am I trying to say? 
<laughs> I've, I haven't got the words for this. But like, like the environment obviously controls, uh, obviously causes some mutations. Um, yeah, and they're random. Uh, uh, do, do you actually think that that's... Sorry? She said that they weren't random. She said that the, the mutations are not always random, that sometimes they're caused by yeah, the environment. That's if they're the... not random, that means they're... I think, so I think the... you... you, you, you I... It, it's apparent that you completely misunderstood my argument. You were saying that evolution is just about random mutations, and I said, no, evolution has to do with how those random mutations impact a population in their environment. That is that is what I mean. But while we are talking about genetic mutations, I mean, our genes are mutating constantly because of the environment. You know, that's, that's why you have cancer clusters in an area mm. is because of how envi like, you know, toxicity in, an env in your environment can influence the way your cells behave. No, that's that's right. all I that mean, is, but that's, dude, that's besides evolution. I mean, if we're all going to be picky about the exact wording of what people said, then I mean, we can actually make our own mutations in genes and then there's a human influence on them. So sometimes they aren't uh, random in that sense but like the you know the general principle is that most of evolution has happened oh because of uh random mutation um i think yeah but i don't know which point never, what so I what's never, your issue here i never even said that i never said that you guys keep strawmanning me i'm not I, attempting to strawman yeah. you billy this is a call in show sometimes As a fact, uh, I, said that, I, I said that, the, that 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 is not a mechanism that can explain evolution random mutation is not an explanation for for uh um you know what doesn't it explain what what's the what's the uh, issue why isn't it why doesn't it like so you you said that loads of scientists don't agree with it but obviously the vast majority of them do who are experts in this field no, they, no, they and, and so you're saying they're wrong no, they, they do no no the vast majority of scientists do not believe that so what do they believe what's what's the scientific consensus on the uh on the, on the cause mechanism behind evolution. I mean, I don't know what they believe, but they but. They <laughs> well, you, but you just asserted that they don't believe the thing that I said. So I said most scientists who are experts in the field of evolution believe that it's uh, random mutation is the mechanism behind um, changes in genes, and you said they don't believe that. So, like, you must have some knowledge about what they believe in order to make that claim, right? Dude. You said that the majority of scientists believe that. Can you prove that? That was your um, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the it's the um, accepted laughing, consensus laughing, in laughing the. I'm not claiming that making me laughing is an argument. I am laughing, and then I'm going to make an argument. Like sometimes things are funny, and I laugh involuntarily. That's not me making a claim that my laughter is an argument. I'm laughing because of what you said, and obviously Genevieve is laughing for a similar reason. Um, if, so the proof here, I mean, if like this feels like a bit of a debate bar argument, like prove that the majority of experts in evolution believe that um, the mechanism behind evolution is random mutation. Like, I mean, what, what do you want me to do? Go out and ask every single scientist and then tally them up, and if over 50% agree that then I'm factually correct and then I win is that like is that the whole point of this or is it that like I, I mean if you're making the if you're coming on the show and you're making the claim that the scientific consensus isn't that um well first I want to know what you think it is but secondly I mean I just think that's kind of wacky I, I, yeah I, don't know. I and 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 Billy I just want to say that my 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 laughter is is more so just coping with the fact that you're you're very upset right now um and and i think that's kind of funny because we're having a good time and we're not trying to straw man you i'd ge genuinely like to understand what you believe but i do kind of just want to push back on this a little bit in in the first place so let's say that uh let's say that you were you were right uh, about all of this and that um random mutations don't you know explain evolution um what would that you know what about that then proves your other claim that it must be god you know if if evolution were disproved tomorrow in any capacity um that's that's not going to immediately cause me to believe oh i believe in billy's god now 
there's thousands of gods out there. There's thousands of creation stories out there. Um, and I, I don't know how your argument about random mutations being insufficient for our understanding of evolution goes back to, oh, well, this means that there's a creator of the universe and I believe in the right one. I never said any of those things. You straw man me yet again. I, 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 fuck up for five seconds, dude. Dude, you, you will not shut up. You will not stop talking for five seconds enough to give me a chance to say anything at all. Billy, okay then, Billy, make make a make a positive assertion. Let's have a let's have an argument about what, what, what's what's your point here. You said te you're telling us your your main call in claim was that the majority of experts in evolution don't believe in doing primary it. mechanism. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to say, like, what is it? What is, what's your, what's your yeah. argument here? What's the argument? I mean, well, I don't want to straw man you. I didn't tell you my argument. You're just going to speak over me and then, and then drone on and on and on and not let me speak at all. So what the fuck is the point? Well, I'm letting you speak. You're, you're, you're speaking your right now. Please. To, to whine. Stop whining. Make an argument. Well, I mean, I, I, first of all, I have to straighten out all of the straw men that you that you fucking. I never said anything about a god. Why don't we reset then? Why don't you just reset why, and make a claim? Why, why, why did you straw man me? Why, why are you straw manning my argument? Why are you deciding my, what, what my argument is? You don't because get... we're so scared of your made argument that we're having a deflect. So why don't you absolutely crush us now by making a real argument? What the Come on, I, I just don't even know what your argument is, Billy. You're saying we're strawmanning you, yeah. but you haven't made an argument. Strawman me into fucking. You have strawman me into fucking confusion now. Like you guys are. I mean, your your debate. Hey, well, let's reset hey, then. Let's reset, yeah. Billy. Let's chill take, out. Let's take chill out. Take a deep breath. Take a. I'm having breath. a good time. Genevieve, yeah. are you having a good time? Great time. Billy, we we can have a good time. Let's just make an argument. Let's pretend we just picked up. What's your argument? Okay. Okay, my argument is just because the, the universe is hostile doesn't mean there's not a god. Okay, and I would like for you to, uh, uh, to support your, your claim that most scientists believe in, uh, in uh, random mutation evolution. Because you made that claim. Okay, so, so let's, um, let's support discuss your, your core argument that just because the universe is hostile, that doesn't mean that there definitely isn't a god. I agree. Okay. Cool. That's a, so that's a good argument. argument right? Huh? Now, now, my next argument, just because religion is stupid doesn't mean... So the reason... Hang on, hang on, hang on. So when you say that shouldn't be my argument, I guess you're commenting earlier on the show where we were saying, oh, isn't it so ridiculous people believe this? So the, the full argument is not, oh, the universe is so hostile, therefore there isn't a god. The argument is that if someone yeah. is making a claim yeah. about a specific god and they are saying that this specific god like the Christian God, for example, has designed the universe for humans. Um, we're saying, well, that looks to be nonsense because the majority of the universe isn't for humans. So this specific God claim doesn't make sense. And it's a counter argument for that specific claim, not for gods in general. Okay, who cares? Do you agree with that? If it's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, who cares? But do you do agree? Yeah, who cares what they say? Like, well, now, now you know. Now you know why we we're talking about that earlier. No, that has no value. There's no value. Are we done when you straw man in us, Billy? Wait, what? I, I was just saying we don't want you straw man in us, so I was just clearing it up. But I think me justifying my claim that your argument is like just because the like just because the the universe has is is hospitable, then that that's some kind of uh, that's some kind of. Um, uh, you know, value towards there not being a god, and that's that's horseshit. That's, that's... No, but you're strawmanning me, Billy, yeah, because yeah. I just explained to you my full argument. It was it's an argument against a specific god claim. Someone who says, if someone says the universe is made for humans by my god, I'm like, well, most of the universe isn't made for humans, so your god sounds like garbage. I'm not saying therefore no god, therefore good Zeus doesn't exist or whatever. Like, who says that? Who says that the god that the universe that God made the universe for humans? Who says that? Loads of people. Nope. I've, yeah. I've been told that by so many Christians. Well, I've had people call in this show before and say shit, that. Dude. I, dude, I've talked to so many Christians. I've never heard a Christian say that before. Come on. Yeah, we've really? talked to different Christians. I've, yeah. I've had loads of Christians yeah. say that. I hear that all the time. It's... I that. What? So they say that, that, that 
that God made well, maybe like maybe a maybe a Christian, a, a super fundamentalist Christian. But if you talk to them, they'll say that they don't know. They all they all that's what they always say. Say that they don't know, and they have faith that's what, that that's what happened, but they don't know shit. Uh, well, well, we we <laughs> we, <laughs> we we can agree on 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 them not knowing shit, but but once again. The the argument we were making was specifically about about so, a God who who centers yeah, humans just, in the universe. I just googled it and I found like just whammed it. And the very first like thing has come up here. It's from some website called Argus Leader, and they um their little thing here says God did not just create heaven and earth, but He created them for us. Like that was just like I just put yeah, in. The- uh, so at least one person has made that claim. <laughs> so therefore, it's a counter argument that we might want to make. There are people who think the world is flat. Who cares? Yeah, and I argue, I argue against them as well. They're quite fun to argue with, actually. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes people call in and they're like, you know what, Katie? I talked to a flat earther the other day. And then we, we have a little like, oh, aren't they so silly because they believe this? And like, obviously, this doesn't make sense. I mean, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean I'm making the claim that all Christians are flat earthers or all, all religious people, everyone who believes in a God thinks that the universe was created. I mean, if you, if Billy, if you personally don't think that God made the universe for humans, all right, then the argument that the universe isn't made for humans doesn't affect your God belief, does it? Look, but that's why you need to make so, more so specific arguments. The universe is suitable. Look, the universe is suitable for planets, and planets. Some planets are suitable for life. That's how it goes. Like, uh, the, of course, the universe isn't suitable for life. Because it's suitable for planets and black holes and and quasars and what does suitable for planets mean? You know, shit like that. But, I mean, uh, it would make no sense for the entire universe to be hospitable for life. I mean, why not? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Why not? Why wouldn't we have the universe hospitable? For, like, if I was God, I would have made the whole universe hospitable for humans. Yeah. Why? Well, yeah, but waste then, of time making it otherwise isn't it? I don't know. who cares but then, wouldn't it be obvious that there's a god though because it would all have to be it would, it would, none of it would be able to comply with with uh, uh yeah if i was a god i wouldn't be all sneaky about it i'll just i'll just be like all right lads i'm real like what, why why what? would you do that like the suppose like like wouldn't you wouldn't, why you, wouldn't you challenge you? wouldn't you want to because you'd want to challenge those little fuckers, dude. You wouldn't want to make like a world of like uh, you know little puppets. You want to make something that's challenging. Like you God, know? God has threatened me with eternal hell if I don't believe in Him. He obviously cares about this a lot. Like if I if I was if I would do things totally different if I was a God, I'd make all life. I'd make the whole universe hospitable for all life. Um, and then I'd be like, you know what, everyone, I did this. Uh, you need to all just like. Just know, like it doesn't really matter. You don't need to praise me. You're not going to hell if you don't believe in me because I'm not a piece of shit. But now you know God's real. You can yeah. chill out. There's no hell. Like you're all going to heaven. It's great. In fact, none of you are going to die because why would I invent the concept of dying? Because I'm not sadistic. Um, you're all just going to have a chill time. That, that's that's what I do personally, or when I am God, that is what I will do. I mean. Does this sound mad, Genevieve? I... No, I was thinking if I were if I were God, I would have just made the whole universe like a, a big playground for for my little beings that I made in my image. I I wouldn't you know hide from them. I wouldn't be an absent father. I would definitely just be like, hey guys, what's up? I'm here. Uh, here's a little wormhole water slide to those other planets. If you want to go hang out on those? Um, I would yeah. I would <laughs> I would skip. I would skip the whole heaven hell thing. I would skip. Oh, you have to deal with adversity so you can grow and be strong because I don't want you to just be a puppet even though I'm begging you to worship me. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't care if they worship me and I would just be there and, and say like, hey guys, uh no no point, just just have fun. Um Get play wrecked. with things. Yeah, yeah, have a great time. Uh, like, I be don't, nice to I each d- other. I don't understand this. Wouldn't you want to challenge? I mean, you could as a god, you could challenge any creation to any degree beyond comprehension like we it could just make it so all of the creatures that i create have to do a maths exam before they're allowed to go and play in the playground i mean that why i don't understand what this claim you're making here is um that why a god would of course want to challenge its creation oh sorry um i accidentally clicked mute you there go ahead 
Oh, Billy, don't get so oh, annoyed. Dude, like, oh, I've been listening to you guys droning on and on and on. It's been torture. Yes, our show, mate. Hey. <laughs> You don't have to listen. About, like, you don't have to if call in. God, if I was God, I would make the whole universe fucking sunshine and lollipops. And dude, do you yeah. guys know why? What makes what makes something strong? What's that, Billy? Tell us. Do you guys know what makes something strong? Go on. Suffering. What? Suffering makes things strong. Yeah, but if you were God, you could make it so not suffering made things yeah. strong. What? Like, why? Why would? Why would you really? create a world where you have people had to suffer? Why, why do people need to be strong? Who gives a uh, shit? Like... Boot camp, dude. Oh my god, dude. Why do you think the boot camp is hard? Boot camp, <laughs> boot camp isn't <laughs> created by God. I mean, like yeah. the, the point of boot camp is to train up soldiers to go and kill other people. If I was God, I wouldn't... Why would I want that? I don't... Like I just don't. I think you're just assuming you're you're accepting all of these oh, ridiculous God. premises, mate. And, like and, why 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 do you want why do you want your creatures to be right, strong? Well, Whatever that means, just make them strong in the first place, you, mate. Like who cares, dude? Are you muting me? Because like you guys just won't stop talking. Like who cares what you guys would do if you were God? <laughs> Give the fuck. Well, like like that's well, that, because you're making the claim that God must have designed the world in a certain way, and I'm saying. So that's not true because like there that. are loads of different ways. Straw man. Another no, no, you, you've definitely made this claim today, Billy. Yeah. Don't you can't say that this is a straw man because you've said that, um, like, of course, God would make most of the universe inhospitable. What a ridiculous claim! Where, where is this? Of course, a God would make the universe inhospitable. Where does that come from? Like that. I never said, I never said anything like that. You're fucking you hot. can go rewind it and have a listen, mate. Fuck? <laughs> I've never said anything like that. Why the fuck would I say that now when I've never said that before? <laughs> Dude, I feel like you've said a lot of things that <laughs> you guys have probably haven't planned out and said before. I oh dear, you guys, Billy. You guys are strawman. You guys just all you do is drone on and on and on and then strawman the arguments. You guys are terrible fucking hosts for this show. I'm sorry, you just are. I've been watching this show for fucking like ten years, ever since it started. And I've, wow. I've debated with the the great, and and you guys just aren't. I'm sorry, you're just not. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm really disappointed that I don't have the Billy seal of approval. To be honest, it's sad. I know. There's more I'm like uh, your arguments suck. Yeah, well, the thing is though, Billy, <laughs> you made one. You called in with this one argument that you've made one clear argument. I just agreed with it, but then pointed out that that was actually a straw man. Of the argument we were making earlier, and then you've made some claim about how the most scientists don't think that random mutation is the mechanism behind evolution, and then you did make the claim that of course God would make most of the universe inhospitable, which is all right. And then you start going on about making things strong, um, like some arbitrary concept of strong, like emotionally strong. Like what would you even? Mate, I just I do not accept the claim that the creation of uh, suffering. No, mate, I'll mute you if you're going to try and talk. I was obviously not done. I'm not finished talking. Are you fucking done? Oh <laughs> no, no, not really. <laughs> going to click the little mute button if you're going to start getting all grumpy. Um, like I just don't accept the claim that, um, you know, inevitably a god would make suffering. I just I think that's nonsense. I don't. I mean, that seems like an assertion you're making. And you can accuse me of straw manning if you like, but I don't think there's any other way that the sentences you've said can be structured without that being a premise to your worldview. Oh, no. Unmute. I am now, Billy, fucking done. Most dishonest arbiter I've ever heard. Dishon okay. You have straw manned me constantly. You constantly mute me and, and just drone on and on and on and never shut up. I mean, Yeah, but Billy, the thing is, though, I, 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 I'm going to mute again. I absolutely accept the accusation that I have muted you more than once. When you say for the 15th time that I drone on and on and on, I feel like that's projection. I think, like, most of the things you've accused me of have been projection apart from muting. You haven't muted me. I will give you that. Um, but I think you've just said the same thing over and over again. Genevieve, would you like to add any like finale yeah. here? <laughs> I, I mean, Billy, I just, 
I'm, I'm going to keep this in my back pocket for next time I make a phone call. I'm going to call them and then I'm going to tell them to shut the fuck up because <laughs> honestly, wow, great move. Love that. Love that for you. Um, I would just say that you have been just angry and hostile and you, you've been jumping around to a bunch of different arguments and then... When you're speaking, you're just insulting us and telling us to shut up when we're trying to address one of the million things that you sort of just tiptoed by. Um, and it's funny, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with it. Um, I'm gonna say that your argument that suffering breeds strength is bullshit because yeah, adversity can help you overcome things sometimes, but that comes with a lot of trauma. And a lot of people don't survive that trauma. If if suffering creates strength, why is there suicide? Your God is an idiot if like that is the best system that you could come for to 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 make us worthy. I mean it's 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 a load of bullshit. Um and I think it's just funny that you are so angry and I <laughs> Oh, gosh. Do you know what a sign of strength is? It's being in a confrontation and being able to be chill. Um, and I feel like that's a strength that maybe we have shown and not all of the participants in this conversation have. Uh, so maybe this call, the adversity of this call has gone to improving uh, your strength as a person. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for calling in, Billy. I genuinely, and I'm not saying this sarcastically, genuinely would love you to call back next time I'm on the show or anytime for the next 10 years um but uh yeah thank you very much Billy <laughs> so um yeah that was interesting I, I just before actually no you know just before we go on to the uh, top patrons of the week I'd just like to comment on that last call a little bit about how I think it's very common for people to make these claims where they say like well of course suffering has to exist because without it that's where you know that's where strength comes from and you even if you accept the premise that strength comes from suffering like if people if, if your god set out with the idea i want to make people strong what's a way i can make people strong oh i should invent suffering because then they will become strong your god could invent people strong your god didn't even need like if it wants people to be strong it can just make them strong right like yeah th th it's always the premise with loads of these little explanations you get from um theists it's like well of course god had to do that of course he had to make the universe in inhospitable because otherwise it wouldn't be a challenge it's like why firstly why did he want a challenge and secondly why couldn't he have made a more sensible obvious challenge or a challenge that's actually fair or uh, it, it never I just never think there's been more than one step back of thinking. It's just like, oh yeah, well, of course it's suffering. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's all mental gymnastics as a roundabout way of explaining why God can be so cruel and still loves you so much. Um, it, it's so funny that that you know this last caller would say say things like, you know, it's it's my idea is stupid of having a universe as a playground with wormholes and water slides to each planet for people to have fun with. But I was just describing what heaven would be like is there no challenge in heaven I, I i hear not i hear that this whole earthly life is just a test to see if you're worthy okay why doesn't he just make us worthy and and skip all this nonsense it's yeah yeah exactly it, and and it's, it's it kind of feeds into this classic thing of it's like oh well god wants you to worship um but he wants that worship to be like a free choice for some reason like if you want to be worshipped just make a bunch of like drones that worship you like if that's a thing you need if, if you need that for your existence if you don't need it for your existence why the hell are you doing it and like it's just always like that there's just always so many yeah. things it's like oh well we need god had to do this but no he didn't god could do literally fucking anything and god chose went out of his way to make a world where children are raped and like you can come up with some stupid explanation as oh well adversity well like no like God created that he made this active choice for this thing and didn't have to because whatever the goal was it's something he could have just magic up to so garbage anyway 